pumpkin spice latte is the perfect way to transition into fall and you start to see it showing up in coffee shops usually around August. Still a little hot here, but I am definitely in the mood for all things pumpkin and apples. So I'm showing you how to make my own homemade pumpkin spice latte or hashtag PSL, if you will, for Instagram. It's free of refined sugars. It actually has pumpkin in it, which if you look at some of the ingredient lists for some of those mainstream coffee shops, it's void of pumpkin. And it has some really great pumpkin pie spice, coconut milk and almond milk, so it makes it dairy free as well. So I have two cups of really strongly brewed coffee. You could always do black tea if you'd like as well, if you don't do coffee. And then we have a third cup of maple syrup, just to give it a good sweet taste. You could use honey if you'd like as well, but I think maple and pumpkin just go really well together. Then I have full fat coconut milk. And if you're not using the whole can, what I like to do is run it under some hot water and give it a really good shake just so you can incorporate the coconut fat and the water in there and you get it all at once. You don't wanna just use the coconut water or just the fat in this. So we're going to use 3 quarters cup of this coconut milk. Okay, and then we have almond milk. So I do a combination of almond milk and coconut milk because it's really nice when you do just a mix of them. This is unsweetened almond milk. If you don't make your own, just make sure that you look for an unsweetened variety at the grocery store. Try to find one that's free of all the gums and the binders and the excess ingredients. You really just wanna keep it as simple as possible. This is pumpkin pie spice. My favorite is actually Trader Joe's brand. This one has a little bit of lemon zest, which I think makes it so delicious. And then we've got our pumpkin puree. You don't want pumpkin pie filling, you want pure pumpkin puree. The ingredients should just be 100% pumpkin. Now, if you wanna make your own, it's really easy. You just roast a pumpkin and puree the inside and just a tiny bit of vanilla extract. Okay, just gonna whisk that all together and then we'll bring this to a boil. All right, that simmered for five minutes. Now we're just going to throw it into the blender and whiz it up to get that nice frothy milk on top. You could also use an immersion blender if you'd like and just put it right into the pot but I love how much foam we get when we use a good high-speed blender. Just be careful blending hot liquids. They have been known to bust the tops off of blenders. We'll just put this on low for a minute. Okay, so I put it on low for just a couple seconds and then I bumped it up to high speed so that we really got the milk frothy on top. You can see the separation of the foam in the latte right there. So we will pour off our latte first, and then we can spoon some of that extra foam on top. There we go, we don't even need to spoon the foam. It just came right off and just settled right on top of these. Beautiful, so there you have it. A dairy-free, refined sugar-free pumpkin spice latte with real pumpkin in it.